Verizon reportedly selling off old wires to focus more on wireless, by John Brodkin. Verizon is reportedly close to selling off parts of its wireline network and some cell towers in a series of deals totaling more than $10 billion, helping the company fund Spectrum license purchases that will boost its wireless business. Further reading, fiber is fast, but copper is reliable? Even during multi-week power outages. The Wall Street Journal reported the deals today, saying they will involve different buyers and could be announced as soon as later this week. The report said Verizon will sell a package of assets including cell phone towers and parts of its wireline business, but did not get any more specific. Presumably, Verizon would be selling off parts of its old copper telephone and DSL networks rather than its Fios fiber to the home assets. Given Verizon's focus on its wireless business, the cell towers are probably surplus to requirements. Verizon's wireless subsidiary just committed to purchasing $10.4 billion worth of wireless spectrum licenses. Verizon lost $2.23 billion in its most recent quarter. Besides funding that spectrum purchase, Verizon is trying to pay off debt, according to the journal report. The company took on a massive debt load last year when it spent $130 billion to buy out Vodafone's 45% stake in Verizon Wireless, the report said. Verizon now owns 100% of Verizon Wireless. Verizon declined to comment when contacted by ours. Some Verizon customers may be happy to get a new provider, depending on who buys the wireline networks. Customers and consumer advocacy groups have accused Verizon of letting its old copper networks rot instead of fixing problems. The Federal Communications Commission is looking into the complaints and considering whether to help facilitate the sale or auction of copper facilities that would otherwise be shut.